Hmm, there's something right behind Spyro. Uh, gotcha! Oh, 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 you win this round. Gotcha! Hmm. Hello, 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 people of the world, I'm like here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Sparrow 2 Ripto's Rage. In the previous episode, we conquered the speedways of the Autumn Plains, and in today's episode, there's no point in prolonging the inevitable, it's time to take on the world of Gulp's Overlook. Gulp, we finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special reward. Gulp? What is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. Oh! You singed my cape! Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves! Say goodbye, flame breath! Don't! Lunch time! Why are the loading screens for the boss fights so lame? <laughs> I hate this boss fight. I hate this boss fight. I hate this stupid boss fight. I hate this stupid boss fight. Okay. This is Gulp. Easily the worst part of the entire game. So, basically, how this is going to work is that there's going to be firing some energy balls around the area, which you need to be careful of, because the camera was not nice enough to zoom out far enough for you to be able to see where it's landing and where it's going to be firing at. So you need to be careful about that, and keep in mind that the radius of the energy will also stay around after the second one appears. So that one appears, and then stays around in time for the other one to ruin your life as well. And he also has this really rude attack where he'll try charging at you, and when that happens, uh, go off to the side. Do not try to escape in a straight line, because if you try to escape in a straight line, it's going to be easier for him to flatten you. And I am really, really sick of this stupid speech. I just want to get this stupid boss fight over with. Do I know how much I hate this thing? On my practice playthrough, when I was playing through the Switch version the first time, this is as far as I got. <laughs> I gave up on uh, the practice playthrough when I got to this point because it was driving me so crazy. Now, it's not that bad on the PlayStation version as far as I remember, but oh my goodness, I hate this fight. I absolutely hate this fight. This is like easily the worst part of the entire game for me, and I apologize for being so negative, but it just really drives me crazy. It just really drives me that crazy. <laughs> One thing you want to keep an eye out for is that Gulp will be able to eat the stuff that's dropped by the eggs as well, so you want to watch out for that. Uh, looks like uh, Gulp ate a chicken, so it restored a little bit of health, which is really, really stupid. Also, the metal barrels, whenever Gulp eats one of those, he'll release a green shockwave everywhere you can jump across. And whenever you say rocket or anything like that, he'll fire the rocket at you, and then he'll follow you around for a little bit. I don't remember exactly what makes the rocket go away, because it always hits my face before I can figure it out. I know I can eat a, a bomb, and I imagine what happens then is, like, you'll just throw it at you or something like that. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head if anything special happens to this. So, get away from me! Stupid energy balls of doom and destruction and death are going to ruin my life. It'd be nice if these guys could drop a chicken, so I can actually restore some of my HP. Ask and you shall receive. I think that's how the quote goes. So now right here, we get to see the example of the green shockwave attack thingy. So that's kind of nice. WHY DID YOU DROP THE EGG IN FRONT OF GULP, YOU IDIOT?! Ah, uh, boy. Uh, butterfly? Butterfly. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to keep an eye out for- I hate this fight. 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 Thank goodness the chickens don't disappear whenever the other stuff does. I do believe they will disappear after a little while, but it's not that problematic if you pay attention to where the chickens are. Ah, 
Whenever you see a bomb like that, you'll want to use a flame... How did that not work? Okay. Come on. <laughs> okay. Where are the eggs? Where are those eggs? Come on. Where are the eggs? Where are those eggs? Where are they? Where are they? Okay. Blow you up. Come on. Ah! That was kind of cool. <laughs> you can catch the rocket in midair and you'll still be able to use it. Which is very, very nice. I do appreciate that. I just wish that it didn't completely disappear whenever Gulp did the jumping attack thingy. I told myself earlier not to go in a straight line, and I did it anyway, and I've said it repeatedly during this recording session because of how many times I died during this stupid thing. But, as I always say, do what I say, not what I do. That technique seems to work pretty well where with the energy balls where you keep zigzagging back and forth as you go forward. And also seems like trying to stay close to Gulp is also pretty helpful for avoiding the attacks. But this boss fight still sucks. Spyro, you did it! Whoa! Laura, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you've really missed being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Oh, wow, this is great. Aren't you gonna join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've gotta go check on the professor in the Winter Tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so he can send you home. Oh, that sounds... interesting. <sighs> I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Uh-huh. Hey, where'd Laura go? I better follow her. I think I've finally come up with a way to access the Dragon Worlds from the Super Portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the Super Portal should work again. Oh! <gasps> So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something, quick! Uh, hey! Give that back! <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! <laughs> Spyro, Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. We'll be taking care of all that in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching this video for Spyro to Ripto's Rage. It's really unfortunate that the Autumn Plains ends on such a negative note, but I gotta say... That's not the end of it. <laughs> you thought the video was almost over. But there is something else that I'd like to take care of. It comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you. 
And like all the best things, it uh, doesn't come cheap. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump and then press the action button. We now have the final ability in the game, the head bash. Which means, before we end off this video, we're to returning to the world of Fracture Hills and Shady Oasis to take care of the last couple of orbs over there. Back in the world of Fracture Hills, and now everybody's turned into stone again, we'll be going over... Ow. <laughs> Man, that looked like it was painful. Uh, where do I go? Owie! That hurt my feelings. That gate thought it could prevent us from going around, but now! Ha 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 ha! Stupid wall. You're kidding me. I gotta do this! Well, he's not trapped in the depots. I guess one thing of advice that I could recommend if you're having trouble with that last one is remember that he never really comes into contact with the other Earth Shaper, so you can really just uh, keep attacking that one guy and you should be okay. As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn Earth Shapers? <laughs> Kick Earth Shaper butt. All right. When I shoot an Earth Shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then pressing the action button. And continuing the trend of the rest of the game, Hunter takes a world that should be fun and completely ruins it. First he got stuck in that stupid rock thing, and now we're doing this. So basically what's happening is that We'll be using the headbash attack to destroy the Earth Shaper after they fall down. You have no leeway for error at all during this, so you need to be careful. If you fail, then you like really don't get a second chance. And for some stupid reason, if the Earth Shaper gets back up, if any of them get back up, you have to start over, and Hunter doesn't wait for you. You have to keep up with them. And he just kind of just goes all over the place. No, we do not make a good team. You don't get to finish talking. I don't want to hear the end of any sentences. I swear we're going to end off the autumn planes on a high note. <laughs> well, we got all the orbs collected and 100% level complete, so that's pretty nice. Next up, Shady Oasis. Please redeem autumn planes. I swear, I do love this world. But we're just kind of ever ending everything off on a pretty negative note, and it kind of makes me sad because I love the Autumn Plains. Within the time that it took to open up this thingy again, my capture card ran out of memory, so that's always a good sign. My eight brothers have been trapped in rock and will sink if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping and then pressing the action button. Follow my lead. Follow me. And remember... Jump, and then press the action button to head bash. Basically what we'll be doing right now is that we'll be using the combined forces of the head bash ability and the super armor thingy to be able to save the hippos. The hippos are going to be in petrified rock and things like that. You don't really have a lot of re leeway to save them. It's kind of like that mission that we took care of in um, the Fracture Hills. Although you have a lot more uh, li room for failure in this one than you do in the other one. Because Hunter is not involved, so this level is cool. <laughs> that hippo in the background! <laughs> Ooh. 
Or is that all the orbs? Yes, it was. <laughs> so I believe the last of the gemstones are going to be in that thing. So, head bash! Yay! 400 out of 400, that's a complete fraction, and 100% level complete. So yeah, I guess we did end off this place on a pretty good note. <laughs> Sir, we, you know, fought the worst boss fight in the entire game, and it's like the lowest point in the entirety of the Reignited Trilogy, at least in my opinion. And we've also taken care of another level that involved Hunter, but at least the Hippo level was pretty fun. I think we have access to all the worlds, so if we can go back into the Summer Forest over there. And another portal has opened up that will take us to the Winter Tundra. There's also going to be another portal close to the very beginning of this world as well. That one will also be close to the Summer Forest portal. So it's not like you have to go deep into the castle or anything to travel between the worlds. And I also believe there's also a Winter Tundra portal in the uh, Summer Forest as well. So I'm taking care of all that, we're in this video off here, and let me just say, we have a lot of cool stuff coming up. The Winter Tundra is awesome. <laughs> so I may have been a bit negative towards uh, some of the levels in Summer Forest and Autumn Plains, uh, especially in today's video, but trust me, we have a lot of good stuff coming up. So I'm taking care of all that, we're in this video off here. So thank you all so much for watching this video for Aspire to Ripto's Rage in the next episode. We're to begin exploring the Winter Tundra. And next time, Lady Gear to you. Oh yeah.